Divas. So in today's video, I'm here to share with you guys this chocolate. It's kind of like a dark chocolate smoky eye with this smoky, with this smoky lip, with this chocolate lip. And I'm really excited to do this. This is going to actually be my first fall look for fall of 2015, which I actually love. Like, I really, really love fall because you could just wear, like, all the deep, dark colors, which you could wear year-round, but I just look more forward to wearing them during the fall time. But, yeah, Divas, I created this look. I was originally supposed to do this lip with, um with another look i filmed that look four times you guys like four times and i didn't like the way it looked so what i did was i just paired it with this eye and hopefully you guys won't be too mad i may have a look similar coming up to that look so yeah but i just it just wasn't working for me so i decided to go ahead and do some chocolate smoky eyes with smoky lips with smoky lips i keep saying that with chocolate lips excuse me you guys but yeah if you guys are interested in how i got this chocolate eye and this chocolate lip then go ahead and stay tuned okay diva so first i'm going to start off with the Too faced eyeshadow insurance and everything will be listed in the description box below in case i can't remember some items but yeah be sure to check that out for all the products that i will be using in this video but yeah i'm just going to go ahead and apply that primer to my eyelids next i'm going to be taking this concealer to apply to my eyelids as well i love to use concealer as a base lately because i feel like it gives my eyeshadow something better to stick to Next, I'm going to be going to my chocolate bar palette, and I'm going to be taking this, it's like a soft peach color, and I'm going to be applying that all over my lid. Um, sorry, I didn't realize I wasn't in focus, but I'm applying that all over my lid to set that concealer that I placed. And then I'm going to be going to my Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar palette, and I'm going to be taking the color in Peanut Butter, which is like a very warm orange it's like a chocolate orange shade and I'm going to be applying that into my crease and a little bit above my crease I did want my transition um, area on my eyelids to be a little bit warm because I don't know I like the way that looks with my smoky eye and then now I'm just going back in with a larger blending brush to go ahead and blend everything out I'm going to be going back to my semi-sweet chocolate bar and I'm going to be adding this um, shade. I believe it's called Truffle, but don't quote me, but um, I'm adding that to the crease and I'm not really blending it. I'm kind of just placing it in there because I'm going to go back with a larger blending brush to go ahead and blend it out. But I wanted to start adding definition into my outer crease area. Okay, so now I'm going to go back in with a larger blending brush to go ahead and blend out that color that we placed. I did cut my, I do cut my blending um, portions of the video very short so that um, the video won't be so long. But you guys, it's very important that you just blend all your eyeshadows out. Okay, so next I'm going back to that um, semi-sweet chocolate bar palette and I'm going to be applying this chocolate this dark chocolate color and I think I believe it's hot fudge and I'm going to be packing that onto my lids I think this color is so gorgeous especially for a dark chocolate smoky eye I thought it would be perfect for this look but yeah I'm just packing that all over my lid Now I'm going to be taking a large blending brush and I'm just going to go ahead and blend everything so that everything has like that smooth transition and it doesn't look like there's just harsh lines. Um, you can tell where I place the eyeshadow or the lid color. Now I'm just going to take that color in hot fudge and I'm going to be placing that on my lower lash line and that is the same color that I place on my lid. Next, I'm going to be taking my Lorac um, 
mascara and I'm going to be placing that on this is so awkward it is so hard for me to put on mascara on camera like I have no idea why but it's just awkward for me sometimes sometimes I can do it sometimes I can't so excuse this if it's awkward and I didn't do my foundation routine because I do have a fall foundation routine make sure you go ahead and check that out in the description box below if you're interested but yeah I'll be using some pretty dramatic eyelashes and that I applied off camera because it was giving me a hard time but now I'm using the lip pencil by uh, Nika K I believe or Italia Deluxe it'll be in the description box below but I'm lining my lips with hot cocoa and this is in preparation for my lipstick Now that I've lined my lips, I'm going to be taking this beautiful, gorgeous chocolate shade by ColourPop and it's called Limbo. This is the most gorgeous chocolate brown lipstick that I have ever seen in my life. I absolutely love it. Like, oh my gosh, this is one of their ultra matte lipsticks. Like, you need this in your life. And it's only $6, you need this in your life. But yeah, after I apply my lipstick, the, lip, uh, the look is complete, Divas. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and found it very easy to follow and very helpful. And thank you, Divas, so, so much for watching. Please go ahead and subscribe and give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you, lovely Divas, in my next video. Bye!